In today's video, I will show you how easy to implement this simple calculator with OpenAI Assistant in Blazor Web App. After I enter the math expression with the keypad here and click on the equal sign, it will submit my math expression to OpenAI Assistant to get the answer. The respond will display in this area. For example, 2 plus 9. Click on equal sign. It returns 11, good. Another example, 6 times 8 divided by 2. Click on equal sign, wait for respond. It returns 27, which it is correct. The main purpose for this video is to show you how to create and call the OpenAI assistants. Before I show you the implementation, please subscribe my video. With your supports and encouragements, I will make more videos in the future. Let us close this demo page. Open the Visual Studio 2022. For time concern, I already prepare the code for user interface. Open up the home.reaser page here. This is the code for our calculator interface only. Press Ctrl and F5 to run this code. The browser is open in my other screen. Let me drag it to here. It shows only the calculator interface. It is not functional. Press 2 plus 5. And click on equal sign here. There is nothing happen. Because we still need to implement a Blazor service to call to OpenAI assistance. Let us briefly go over this UI code first, so you will understand what I am doing here. This UI code is very simple. It separates into three parts here. First part is the display box to display the math expression. It binds with math expression variable. When users press any key in keypad, it will display the math express here. The second part is the result box. It binds with the result variable, which is this area. It displays the respond from OpenAI assistance when the users click on the equal sign. The last component is the keypad itself. It has two callback event functions. First one is keypad keydown. And second one is submit user prompt. When users click on any key here except the equal sign, this keypad keydown method will be triggered. It carries in two input parameters, math expression and input prompt. For an example, if I click on 2 plus 55 times 9, the math expression parameter will contain this HTML code encoding string. Because these math operators are special characters, it uses for display in screen purpose. Whereas input prompt parameter will contain this normal string, so OpenAI can easy understand it. When users click on equal sign here, this submit user prompt method will be triggered. The implementation of this method is missing now. We need to implement a Blazor service, which we will call calculator service, and then inject it into this page. When submit user prompt method is triggered, it will call to the calculator service to submit the user input prompt to OpenAI Assistant. Let us start to implement this calculator service now. First, let us install the OpenAI NuGet package. Right-click on Project File, select Manage NuGet Packages. Search OpenAI. This is OpenAI official package, but it is still in preview. Select the latest version and install it. Click on Apply and Accept. It is installed successfully. Close the Manage NuGet Package tab. Right-click on Services folder and add a new interface. Select Add. New item. Interface. Name it iCalculator Service. Click on Add button. Since I don't want to waste time in typing, let me copy the code in and explain it line by line. We will define only one method submit user prompt in this interface. It supports one input parameter user prompt and return the OpenAI Assistant respond as the string. 
we will create a calculator service class and inherit this interface. Right-click under the Services folder again. Select Add, New Item. Name a new class to Calculator Service. And click on Add button. Let's start implement this class. First, using the namespace OpenAI.Assistance, OpenAI, and System.ClientModel. Define two private properties, Assistant Client and Assistant. There is an error in assistant client object. Because this is for evaluation purpose only, it may be removed or changed in the future. For now, we can disable this error by added pragma warning disable. We will initialize these two properties within the public calculator service constructor. So define the public constructor here. Before we can initialize these two properties, we have to do authentication with our API key first. Initialize the assistant client property with OpenAI client docket assistant client method. Then create the new assistant and assign it to the property assistant. We use GPT for as the AI model with the temperature equals one. Name this new assistant as Math Calculator and provide the instructions. Next step, let us inherit the interface iCalculator service and implement the method submit user prompt. After we create and initialize the assistant in the constructor, second step is to create the thread and add the user prompt into this thread. Let me copy and paste the code here. We will call assistantClient.createThread method to create the assistant thread. And then add the user message or user prompt to initial messages property. Third step, run this thread and the assistant that we create in the constructor. Let me copy and paste the code here. We will call assistant client dot create run streaming method to run the thread and assistant. And pass in additional instructions to tell our math calculator return the number format only. And provided the example. If users enter the wrong math expression, it will return this error message here. Finally, assign the respond to the streaming updates variable that we will get the output and display it in the result box in the next step. Fourth step, define the respond output variable. We will convert the streaming updates into the string and assign to respond output. We will use the for loop here. If the type of streaming update is message content update, it will append to respond output. Finally, return respond output from this submit user prompt method. That's all for this calculator service. Review it one more time. Look, everything is good. We will register this service in program.cs file. Open programmed.cs file using Blazor app calculator dots services namespace. Register the iCalculator service interface and class using add scoped. Now we already finished registered the calculator service class. Let's click on home.razor file and inject this class. Using the namespace blazor app calculator dot services. Inject the class calculator service. Copy the service calculator. Submit user prompt will trigger when users click on the equal sign in the front end. So we will place the calculator service here. 
First, we need to show the string loading when users click on equal sign. A wait.delay will trigger the result box re-render and show the word loading before we get the respond back from OpenAI. Finally, call the calculator.submitUserPrompt method and pass in the input prompt as the input parameter. Assign its respond to the result property. The UI will automatically re-render again to show the respond. There is a typo. Delete 1D. Now. Let us press Ctrl and F5 to run and test this application. It opened the browser in my other window. Let me drag it here. Let's test the calculator. Press 9 multiple by 6. It returns 54. That is correct. Try 5 plus 6 multiple by 9 divided by 2. It returns 32. Not bad. But if we try MRO complicated math expression, it may return the wrong answer. For example, 67 minus 12.5 divided by 2. It returns 61.75, which is wrong, because GPT is large language model. If you want to make it more precise, you may try the function calling in the OpenAI Assistant. The purpose for this video is to show you how to call OpenAI Assistant in Blazor.net. I hope you like this video and learn something from it. Don't forget subscribe my channel, please.